Today I'm showing you how I made this trivia wheel. This trivia wheel is a prop for a musical workshop for kids I was commissioned to make and I'm going to use reclaimed plywood and some PVC foam boards. I'm creating a simple structure to connect two boards and make the whole main circle stable and solid. I thought that the half lap joints could work really good in this case and they were actually pretty easy and quick to make. The table saw blade left this rough surface, so I'm using a chisel to clean all the joints and make them nicer and ready for glue up. I check for squareness and hammer some really small nails to keep working fast without having to clamp all the corners and wait for the glue to set. I put too much glue in this first corner and had to clean up the mess with a damp rag. While the glue is drying, I lay out two PVC foam boards on the floor and make some marks to place the frame relatively in the middle. To permanently glue the frame to the PVC, I'm using a strong construction adhesive. I clean the squeeze out with acetone and a rag. I turn it over and apply some weight while the room is filled with orange light from the sunset. Later in that day, I plug my x carved CNC machine to the computer to cut a big question mark with an arrow point, but this didn't come as good as I was expecting because the inside layer of foam melted a little bit, so the edges were too rough. But I will talk more about that in my next video. So in the next day, I recut the whole thing by hand with an exacto knife and a jigsaw. I used a fine tooth blade and it actually turned out pretty good. I sanded the edges with a fine grit paper and rounded over the sharp corners. A sanding sponge works really good in the inside curved edges. To keep a consistent distance between the two parts I'm using a scrap of MDF and I find the middle of the three parts so I can align them by eye and get the correct place for the wood sticks. The sticks will be embedded in the PVC foam panel and glued with the construction adhesive.
I also put two pieces of expanded PVC to trap the wood sticks. Now let's move on and cut the big circle. Since the jigsaw worked out so good in the question mark, I thought it would work just as good for the circle, but I was wrong. The blade started to bend and I wasn't getting a circle at all. So I had to switch to plan B and attach the router to the plywood strip. I reduced the radius a little bit to get the messy edge removed and the final result was very satisfying. I glued two plywood extensions to permanently attach the two panels. The wheel is going to be divided in 8 equal parts. Four of them will have 4 different colors and the other four will be white with phrases. Joga outra vez, escolhe uma cor, surpresa e oops! The colored triangles will be made out of felt and I take one PVC triangle as a template. I spray some contact adhesive in both surfaces and press them carefully together. All the excess material was cut and ended up with a nice round colorful shape. Now for the phrases I'm using the X carve to cut all the letters out of the PVC that I painted black earlier. I decided to apply several strips of double sided tape to the panel to assure that the letters wouldn't dance around in the final cutting pass. Spend some time separating and cleaning each letter and in my opinion they didn't come out as good as they could but I needed to take my sense of perfectionism away for a bit so I could move on and get it done before the deadline. Here I'm using super glue to hold the letters in place and decided to go for a slightly messy alignment to get a more childish look. Finally it was time to work on a question mark. I messed all the edges before painting the front black because I was afraid that the paint would cause some corrosion in the side exposed foam. The question mark is attached with a bolt through the center of the wheel and a lock nut will keep it in place. The lock nut needs to be under the surface of the back of the wheel because it will have strong magnets that will keep the whole thing safe and secure to the metallic wall of the room where the workshop will be running. I need to find a sweet spot to drill the hole for the bolts and find a strategy to get it moving as random as possible. I know that the center of gravity of this shape is outside its physical body, so in order to balance the weight of the form, 
I found out that if I put about 200 grams horizontally on a specific place in the arrow, it would spin relatively balanced and it should work vertically too. So I called my dad and he brought me a big fishing sinker that he cut in half and hammered it until it was pretty flat while I hot glued this pipe insulation foam around the perimeter. I stick the two halves of the sinker to the back of the arrow and it worked really good. Yeah, I was in a hurry to finish and pack this thing for transportation so I didn't film that. Here's the trivia wheel next to the other elements that I made. I hope the kids like it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. If you want to see what I'm working on next, subscribe to my channel and follow me on social media.